Pause for the cause. Go ahead, Bobby, get your cough on. <laughs> Go ahead, get it out, get it out, get it out. Okay, I think I'm good now. I'm sorry. No problem. <laughs> Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. Thank you again for clicking on to my channel. I am your guy, DJ Battle. Today, I have a very special, honorable guest that I'm happy to be interviewing today and her name is Azira Franklin. Azira Franklin is a good buddy of everyone in the DC DMV local cycling community. Hello Azira, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm super cool, good to have you come through and hang out with me today. Yeah, it's fun. You know, I've known you for a few years and I decided, hey, you've been out here doing things and great things in the cycling community and racing your bike. I figure we need to capture and document some of your amazing moments. Today, particularly in this video, I heard you won a bike race. I did win a bike race. That is awesome. We're about to get into that, ladies and gentlemen. Can you be so kind to tell us which race is this, where did it take place at, and how old are you? Um, this is Chocolate City Criterium. It took place in DC. It happened about mid-July of this year and I'm 18 years old. 18 years old, mid-July 2024. Awesome. Well, let's get ready for the whistle, ladies and gentlemen. We have a race to look at and talk about. Here we go. All right, that was the whistle, Azira, the start of your race. What I like to do traditionally, I think I'm going to show a full lap of this course. We have data metrics for from your bike computer on the screen for the viewers. So I want to show a full lap to have everyone understand the race course in itself. And you can let us know what you got going on as this race just started. So as the race just started, I'm, you know, looking out for things, seeing who's doing what, who like technical skills, stuff like that, any dangers on the course. And I'm just trying to pay attention. Paying attention is a key pillar in crit bike racing, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I totally agree. Paying attention is a big thing. So we see you have your rear camera only in this race. I heard you had a technical difficulty with your front camera. Is there any truth to that? Yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't get it to charge, and there was only time to put my back camera on, so I just had to race with the back camera. Okay, you know what? I think the back camera is better than no camera. Yeah, I agree. Just shy of a one-mile loop course you have here. I believe I'm counting approximately seven turns on this course. How did you feel about these turns in this course? Uh, I like technical crit courses, so I didn't mind it at all, especially since like one of them was kind of like a chicane, so I was able to just like shoot through it with all the speed. I heard you like chicanes. I heard you do a lot of riding down Haynes Point, Washington, D.C., Fight I Club and all kind of stuff, huh? Yeah, I like to do all the crazy stuff. Okay, all the crazy stuff. Go ahead, girl. So I see you guys are coming back up into the start-finish line, which will complete one full lap on this course. So we're going to clip through this course so we don't have to watch a whole 40 plus minute race. Are you cool with that? Yep, that's fine. All right, let's clip through ladies and gentlemen. So Azira, one of the things I think some of the viewers may want to know is since you stated you are 18 years of age, how long have you been cycling, racing, and what got you into it? I've been cycling for and racing for about nine years. I learned how to ride a bike and started racing that same year, so that's kind of a funny story. I started racing because of my dad. He's been cycling my entire life, and so I kind of just got into it. Didn't like track and field anymore. So, yeah. That's pretty awesome. I just heard this lady say she's been cycling for <laughs> nine years, and she's 18 <laughs> years old. This woman has been racing literally half of her life. Thank you to your father. I assume you have great parental support in your journey of cycling. I do. Tell us about it. 
So when I'm out doing long solo rides, my parents will sag me, they'll drive behind me in the car, make sure I have everything I need so that I can do like a nice four hour day without having to stop. I'll just pass them my bottles and they'll fill it up for me, give it back to me. Um, we'll do some motor pacing to get some good speed work. And we'll, you know, we go to the gym. I ride my bike on the treadmill, also a crazy story. Um, and yeah, they've just been supporting me ever since I've started. Let's give a sh major shout out to your parents, Mr. and Mrs. Franklin. Round of applause. So, this local race here you have, I believe you told me is in Washington, D.C., is that correct? It is. Out of the racers that's in your race, do you know any of them? Have you raced with them over your nine-year racing career? Um, there's Faith Irvin, Ashley, Crystal, I think this girl in the blue, I'm, I don't remember her name, but I've raced against her before, the, the Meta Girls and the NCBC Girls, so I pretty much raced against and with all, almost all the um, people in this race. I heard sometimes it's nice to know who's in your race field. And this sounds like a pretty good, strong race field of ladies. Outstanding. Yeah. At this time, according to your data on the screen, we are nine laps within 22 laps. How you feel at this point of your race? Still feeling pretty good. You know, I'm still, you know, paying attention, making sure nothing crazy is happening. Um, there was a couple attacks thrown here and there, but nothing got away couple of attacks were thrown nothing got away okay so that brings me to the assumption that your fitness level is pretty good for this race it was yeah on a scale of one through ten where do you think you were at with your preparation coming into this race i was giving myself about eight or nine i got good sleep ate good food i uh, did my openers the night before packed up my bag um the morning before so that when I got up, I could literally just walk out the house. Outstanding. Sounds like good preparation to me. Looks like this race is getting a little busy here. What's going on? Um, at this point, it's getting a little antsy. The speed's starting to pick up some. They might have called for a preem. So the speed's going to pick up frames always tend to get the race moving yeah i always want to race hard for money money is a great <laughs> motivator especially in racing you're now rocking with dj What's his name? dj battle so i've known you for a few years miss z azira z for short Let's get into a quick conversation real quick. You went to school for cycling, is that correct? I did. Tell me about it. So I went to Miller School of Albemarle. It's a boarding school out in Charlottesville, Virginia. They have mountain biking, road. They recently started doing cross. And then they have a lot of other sports there. So I went for road and I did start mountain biking while I was there. And I got, I got so strong while I was out there. My bike handling shot through the roof once I started mountain biking. It took a crap ton of climbing out there, so it was just perfect training. Sounds great. Sounds like an amazing journey and experience that you put into your memory bike. Yeah. You girls are moving on the business side of the pedal, Z. Those last couple of seconds coming through that start finish line, you guys were well over 30 miles an hour. Big girl racing, I should say. Looks like you have a breakaway coming up here. Tell me about this breakaway, because I see some watts being thrown down on my screen. Let me hear it. So they just called for a preem and I decided that I was going to sit on the wheel of the girl who was going for it and then I sprinted past them once they sat up and going through this corner I just made sure I carried all my speed so I can gain a gap and I did this to break the race up a bit. If I stayed away on a solo break that would be great but at the very least I knew I could break up the race. You have stretched this race out Desire. We have a nice chase going down right here by an NCVC athlete. She's looking back for some 
help maybe but she is committed to coming back to you i like her effort it looked like you girls may have literally established a break are you pulling over here to uh shut it down some yep i hopped on the wheel of the ntvc girl and i sat up a little bit once i knew i was caught i didn't want to burn all my matches but i knew that the race was broken up at this point so mission accomplished Mission accomplished. I see the motorbike back there in this field has gotten shorter after that break that you guys done. The selection has been made. See, I know you race and travel. Any difference between the local racing versus the out of town racing? There is a pretty big difference. Um, locally, the races are a little bit smaller, not as many people show up, but for the out of town races, the fields are bigger and the competition is a little bit more heavy. Um, mostly because a lot of the heavy hitters from the local races are traveling to these bigger races. So um, that just makes the races a lot harder. Sounds good to me. Out of your nine year racing career so far, do you have any favorite races that you love? I love Tulsa Tough. I've done that one twice and both times they were it was just a lot of fun. It's very hot and Crybaby Hill definitely lives up lives up to his name. But it was that one's a lot of fun. I like and um Chicago Grit, formerly known as Intelligentsia. That one is fun. It's nine days of crit racing all in different parts of Chicago. That one's a lot of fun. Sounds good to me. Here we are, Z, with two to go. 21 out of 22 laps, two to go. What's going on through your mind with two to go, Z? So at this point, I know that both the NCVC girls are behind me, so I'm going to make sure that I'm always on um, one side of the road so I know exactly which side they, if they were going to attack, which side they were going to come to. Um, I also heard them talking to each other, so I made sure I kept an eye out on that. Yeah, they definitely were talking what good teammates should do. They may have had a plan in the making. Let's get ready for the finale, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is one to go. Azira, I'm going to let you have the whole floor, the whole mic for this one to go. Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me what you know. Let myself and the audience hear it. So at this point, I... Got the NTVC girls in front of me but and the Meta girls in front of me. Everybody's in front of me. Um, I hopped on the wheel of the NTVC girls because I knew that they were probably going to um, have the best bet at beating me out in the sprint. I, I knew what position I wanted to be in coming into the last cr corner, which is third wheel, because the first person coming out of that corner would die out a little bit too soon. And so with the second person, it was kind of a longer sprint with a uphill. It, was a, it kind of punches up closer to the finish line. And so I knew I wanted to be third wheel coming out of that last corner. The pace picked up a lot. Gap started opening up. But it ultimately was pretty smooth. Sounds like we have some tactical things going on and some critical thinking taking place under pressure at race pace. I think Justin Williams says uh, chess at 40 miles an hour. <laughs> so at this point, I am sitting third wheel, coming into the last corner, which is right where I want to be. Yep, we're on that final turn, final straight. Um, gap, a gap opened up a little bit between the person in front of me and the person who was sprinting first, but exactly what I thought was going to happen happened. The first person died out. I used the person who was directly in front of me as a lead out and just sprinted by her. Look at these watts you are dropping. This is the last one you have to pass and boom, you go through the finish line first, Z. Congratulations to your win. <laughs> this is pretty amazing, Z. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. Super congratulations on your win right there, Zyra. That was some real business. Thank you. No problem. So what's next for you? Going off to college at Bowie State. In January, we got a cycling team started up there. So I'll be doing some collegiate racing too. I'm going to collegiate nationals in Pronats. 
This is awesome news to my ears. I wish you all the continued success, and I'll be here to give you all of my support in any way I can. You can even come and drop me on some local rides we can do. I'd love that, too. Thank you. All right. So as we close out on this video, once again, thank you for coming by. I thought this was amazing and something that needed to be done because one day you're going to be older. And you're going to be like, I won this bike race back in the day, and I don't remember anything about it. But now <laughs> we have it on video. And it's well documented. Super congratulations to you and your family and the local community of all that support you. Anything you want to say to those people? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for clicking on to my video. If you're so kind, give me a subscribe, a share, and even drop a comment for the amazing Azira here on her way with big things happening in the cycling community. Thank you for clicking on. See ya.